So before getting a teardrop camper, one of the things that I wasn't ever sure about and never saw online myself is how do people fit all the stuff that they need into this small thing. So we're a family of four, plus we have a dog. So we've got a fair bit of clobber that we need to get in and around. And also kind of weight distribution is important as well. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you how we pack our Hero Camper Ranger uh, when we're going away. And the longest we've been away for is uh, 10 days so far and worked absolutely fine. Obviously, if you're away longer, you just pop to the shops, get some stuff. It's all good. So, uh, yeah, let's roll the intro, then I'll take you through it. One of the things that people are most surprised about when we turn up both at the campsite and also when we're packing away, uh, and people have often made comments that it's like a little TARDIS, it's how we got all this stuff and it goes in and out of the camper and doesn't seem to be a mega squeeze. So I thought I'd just kind of quickly talk to you and show you some pictures in terms of how we pack our Hero Camper Ranger so it might set your mind at ease if you're thinking about it and thinking you can't do it. So uh, obviously things have changed a little bit for us now in terms of we've got the roof tent. So we have um, pillows and sleeping bags permanently set up in the roof tent for the kids. So that's one less thing uh, or a few less things that we have to keep inside the actual Hero Camper ourselves. The other thing I should mention is we have an electric vehicle if you've not watched the other videos on the channel and in terms of the tow bar weight is 90 kilograms so we've got to obviously keep in mind um, how we distribute the weight in the Hero Camper to make sure that it's all safe and legal and whatnot um, for towing with my Polestar 2. So I think that's something that maybe not everyone pays attention to. I'm a little bit paranoid about <laughs> certain things like that. I want to make sure that I'm not going to break anything and things are going to be safe, um, obviously, with all the family in the car. And also, we don't really have any room in the boot of the car because uh, we have our dog in there. So um, sometimes we have like a little, my wife's rucksack or, you know, kids' rucksacks in the boot, maybe. Uh, but in general, everything goes into the Hero Camper Ranger. So if you look at some of the other videos, you already see what we keep in the, the front locker box. We've got um, in there our gas bottle, our camper shower, um, our hob. We keep the hob in there as well that we get out when we camp, um, as well as um, uh, awning pegs, uh, hammers, and some spare tools and torches and gloves and what have you. So we won't cover that. That's already in a different video. Um, and we've got other videos on kind of how we have the kitchen set up and everything. But first thing I do when um, we're camping is we have uh, these Curva Clothes boxes, which again I've covered in uh, one of the other videos in terms of what, what's inside the camping and the sleeping area. So we fill each four of those up with our clothes and they go in the overhead uh, cabin bins. Then behind the seats in the, in the Ranger, you would have seen that already, uh, it's obviously electrics on the one side and on the other side we keep um, just some fold up blankets actually again because we already have the battery in there and with the um, obviously weight of the gas bottle, uh, the battery which isn't a big battery, um, it's normally around 85 to yeah 85 almost 90 um, when we're fully um, laden in the Hero Ranger. And that's actually one thing that uh, I, th I feel sometimes a little bit of a negative for me when I'm trying to pack because obviously you're trying to keep the weight over the axles. Obviously the kitchen is mainly at the back there so you have to be a bit creative. I found out to be a bit creative and do various tests to decide the layout to put stuff um, you know in the back. So in terms of weight in the back, you can add water. Obviously, make sure that your total weight uh, isn't going to cause a problem either. So 1,500 kilograms is the maximum that uh, my car can tow. But I think it's 1,200 kilograms is the max weight for uh, the Hero Camper Ranger. So keep that in mind. 30 litre tanks, about 30 kilograms. Um, but obviously, we already have weight in the back of the camper because we've got pots and pans and utensils and the fridge and that sort of thing in there. So first thing we do is we fill up the fridge in the back. So we have the 12 litre um, uh, Cronings camp, uh, fridge in the back and we put in there the things that we definitely want to keep um, cold and cool. So mainly meat um, products. So you know, bacon, sausages, all the important things for our fry-ups. So we get all that done. 
Next thing we do inside the actual hero itself, we'll already have the um, bedding all set up and that's all ready. And then right at the back, as far back as we can go, we put our table and our fold up um, cupboard. That's a domestic one, I think. And so that goes uh, on there, so that's two pieces. And on top of that, we put, um, we've got four fold out chairs and I'll do another video on those in the future. They are the uh, Old Man Emu Director chairs. Really comfy, uh, but quite big and a little bit heavy, but um, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Um, we have four of those, but three of them go perfectly across um, the width of the Hero Camper. So we put all three of those, again, on top of the um, tables uh, and the cupboard that's already gone in there, and then one more on top. So that's as far back as they can go. And they are the heaviest items when combined um, that go in there. Then on the top of um, where those other couple of seats are, I'll put like uh, the bag we have full of cables. I keep that in a dry bag um, because it's been raining or whatever. I don't want electrical cables getting wet. So that all goes in there. Next thing that we put in uh, is the awnings. So. We've actually stopped traveling with the uh, Isabella kitchen awning because we found we just didn't need it. Um, but if we were traveling with that, we put the Isabella kitchen awning in first. Then on top of that, we put the um, side panels for the fold out Thule Omnister awning. So that bag goes on top. We've got bags for both of these just to make things easier to store and I mean they're not rolling around everywhere. And then on top of that bag, we put the um, air windbreak that we have, which we kind of put around the back of our uh, ranger when we're camping to provide a bit of segmentation and stop the dog uh, getting distracted and other things. So that goes on top of there. And then the last two things that go in is we have two uh, Yeti cooler boxes. So the smaller one uh, is the roadie. We keep all our drinks in there for the one or two weeks we're in there. So he's got some ciders in there. Uh, but also, that's a good enough size that you can fit a bottle of wine in or, or whatever as well in terms of height. So we, we pack that up with uh, cans of Coke, Fanta, lemonade, beer, cider, wine, whatever, obviously along with a cool bag. So that goes in there and that obviously weighs a reasonable amount. I used to try and put those at the back, um, but actually after doing tests, I found it actually wasn't too bad if it's still back, slightly back behind the doors. So... We never really having much weight past the doors. Everything's as back far as possible. So we've got the, the smaller one there goes in, and then um, next to that we put um, the larger uh, Yeti we have. I think it's a 45 liter one, and in there we keep um, fruits, salads, um, other kind of stuff we need to keep cool, but not aren't typically meat products. Or if they are meat stuff, stuff we're going to use quite early on into the camp because they tend to keep cool for around four to five days. Uh, and if we were way longer like we have been, we would just pop to a supermarket, buy a couple of ice bags, pour those in and keep those cool as well. So put those in next. Uh, and that's then pretty much it. I tend to put my um, portable um, battery box in there as well. So if, again, if we're off grid and I can also slide in an extra solar panel uh, on the top of those chairs at the back as well. And then in that kind of space, in the door area, we put lighter objects again because I'm keen that that's going to add a bit of extra weight to the front, so to be careful. So, might put a couple of um, bags in there that have like coats and shoes, kids' scooters, um, and that kind of stuff. And sometimes, depending on weight, we might put a couple of boxes in there that have tin cans and stuff. But again, try and keep that back. Strap all that down with the seat belt thing that's in there to stop things all rolling around and everything. And that tends to work really, really well for us and if we need to chuck any extra things in again we will just chuck those on top of the yetis and the bags that are towards the back and the shelving area just to make sure the weight remains all balanced and there's no issues so that's it i hope this kind of helped uh, i'd be interested to know how do you pack your hero camper as well so please feel free to leave uh, that information down in the comments ask me any questions um, again about how we're doing it and why we're doing it a certain way but you can get a lot of stuff in a hero camper and again it should be obvious but i mentioned it already the clothes obviously because they're in those cupboards they're already back further in the wheel as well clothes don't really weigh that much but every little helps 
as they say at Tesco. Um, but yeah, it, it works really well for us. And I found that consistently that gives us a good weight uh, on the ball and I don't have to worry about anything. It toes great. It's not kind of wobbling around or, or swinging or anything and everything works pretty well. And also the, the weight towards the back and over the wheel is helpful because when you get somewhere and you want to push it and move it around, I found having a bit of weight towards the back makes obviously the, uh, the, the front lighter and easier to kind of lift and push around and get it into the spot that you need. So this video helped. Uh, if you've liked it, please consider clicking that like button. Really help me and the channel out and get more notified by the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested in other videos like this, please consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell for future Hero Camper owner videos. Until next time, take care of yourself. Uh, catch the next one. Bye for now.